Us. I just... Now, now, don't worry your silky little head about nothing. You're our guest tonight, and we welcome you. Not the response I expected. Hate to tell you, though, Mizuki ain't around right now. Off visiting his sister. His... sister? Yep, older one, I think. Said she just got out of the hospital. Didn't he tell you? Um... Ah, never mind that for now. It's a bit of a jaunt to get here, so you might as well forget about your worries and relax. You doing okay, boss? Someone sneak up and hit you on the head again? <laughs> Y'all seem to think we're some kind of evil organization or something, don't you? Especially that spunky little lady. I take it you mean Saki? Well, this is my chance to show you that we ain't half as bad as you think. Because we sure as shooting never meant to make enemies of you. It just happened. That's really not what it felt like. Look, I told you a bunch of times already. We just want to protect the peace of Akihabara. Nothing but that. And that just so happens to involve getting rid of those delusions. Protecting Akiba is the flag under which we've all gathered. We're all one when it comes to keeping this place safe. In a nutshell, we're just a bunch of folks who really, really love Akihabara. I know I certainly do. I love Akiba too. So you get where we're coming from, right? Those delusions are painting over the Akihabara we know and love with their own scenery and revisionist history. So we track them down and we take them down, all in the name of keeping the town we love the way it should be. But even if we see delusions changing, Akiba, regular people don't, right? Mm, you got me there. Nobody's paid any mind to the delusions so far. And when we destroy them, nobody even remembers enough to say thank you. It's like nothing ever happened. But that don't mean we can just ignore them. <sighs> no siree. We can't ignore them any more than we can ignore the town getting eaten away. Or the man behind the curtain. Ain't no way in hell we're gonna let that delusion contractor get away with all this. Not on your life. We're not asking nobody to take notice. We're not asking for any thanks. All we want to do is keep the town we all know and love as safe as it can be. Nothing more. Nothing less. Sure. I mean, you're called the Akihabara Freedom Fighters for a reason. Starting to see the light now? Oh, I get it. I totally understand why you'd fight to keep Akiba safe. The only problem is... Is what? Why is Mizuki part of the team? Why did he join you guys in the first place? I've never once heard him say he loved Akiba. Hell, I've never even heard him say he liked it. You know your buddy like the back of your hand, don't you? Problem is, when you know each other too well, you start thinking you know all there is to know. Makes you cocky. Cocky? Yeah, cocky. Like your friend who thought she understood Katomi. You wanted friends though, right? You've been dealing with soul-crushing loneliness for a long, long time, right? Well, I'll be your friend, if you want. So come on. Let's head back to the real world together, okay? You can't just stay in a place like this forever. You just can't. What do you mean by a place like this? I don't know what you've heard or where you heard it, but what could a trash woman like you possibly know about me? But I know I don't understand. I don't even have a clue what Mizuki's thinking. Which is why you gotta take things slow. My right-hand man's always got his reasons. You just gotta respect that. And sometimes people just want some time to themselves. It's human nature. Sure, the same's true of your lady friend. What, Saki? You should just leave her be for now. Nicest thing you could do. Anyway, that ought to do for today, hmm? Aoi, mind showing him out? No problem. Hey, boss. What is it? Can't get enough of my sexy voice? Uh, no, that's definitely not it. I just wanted you to know... I've misjudged you. <laughs> Sorry you never got to talk with the sub-boss. That's okay. I appreciated getting the grand tour of the base. Thanks. Oh. You're welcome. Give my regards to Akari and Mizuki. Wait. Hmm? What is it? What do you plan to do now, Asahi? Hmm. That's a good question. I haven't really decided. I see. 
So I'll probably just go home and think for a bit. Take some time to myself, as your boss put it. All right. Anyway, good night, Aoi. Good night. Here's Asahi! Eh. Oh crap, sorry. Did I wake you? Very much, yes! Sorry. Go ahead and go back to sleep. I can't now! I'm wide awake! What? Why? Just go to sleep! How? Okay, fine. You're up then. You know, it's kind of weird being able to speak with you one-on-one -on -one like this. Yeah. This is the first time Saki hasn't been here. I wonder where she is right now. What she's doing. I wish I knew. Man, you two have really put me through a lot, haven't you? To think it all started with that delusion at Akihabara Station. You guys even forced me to fight. Not cool. And then there was the whole idol delusion, where Saki just kept on questioning people like she was the Popo. She's totally amazing! Same deal at the maid delusion, and the Chuni delusion. She just... Kept on going, no matter what. She's never lost her will to fight. Not once. I think she may be more determined than anyone else I've ever met. Maybe a little too determined today. She overdid it, and it got to her. So maybe we should let her have this moment of rest. Give her a chance to catch her breath. Yeah? And while she's resting up, we'll take care of the investigation. We'll pull our weight, and then we'll pull hers. We need to make it so that whenever she makes her triumphant return, everything is just as she left it. Yes, I, that's far too noble a sentiment for a need. Far too noble. <laughs> Whoa, Pink Coon, easy on the waterworks. But, but, but. Pink Coon? Pink Coon! Yeah. Holy crap, did you just fall asleep? <laughs> well, okay. Rest well, Pinkoon. And you too, Saki. Hey! Up and at him! Uh -huh. Open those eyes, dingus! Hmm, Pinkoon? What's up? My foot's gonna be up your wuss if you don't get moving! Oh, yeesh. Good morning to you, too. You sleep okay? Sleep? You think I could sleep at a time like this? I don't have your neat-tastic sleep-anytime abilities. <sighs> what, am I boring you? Well, okay. It's a little early, but we might as well get going. That's the spirit! Move out! Huh? Good morning, Asahi. Wow! Can Neats even get up this early? They can if I'm around. Yeah, yeah. You guys are pretty early, too. We weren't supposed to meet up for a while yet. Why would you say that is, Yamato? Hell if I know. Coincidence? So you say. But deep down, I know you're just as worried about Saki as I am. Shut up! <laughs> Sure, sure. Anyway, Mippity, did you ever manage to get in touch with Saki? I tried a bunch of times, but I still haven't gotten any answer. 
I checked in with Akemi too, but she hasn't had any luck either. I see. Where could she have gone? I miss her. Me too. Well, while she's gone, why don't we start working toward accomplishing some of the things she's been striving for? Without her? You heard me. 